Hello and welcome. I'm Ellen Sutherland. Here we are being spiritual. Months and months and months I've been doing this and um, it's quite a journey to carry on with the blog. Um, it's not that I'm not constantly thinking about my spiritual life and practicing. I am. But to articulate it and put it into words and give it to you back and to offer you some of the things that I've learned and that I find important, that's been very interesting. Uh, I've spent the last couple of weeks just writing. That's been helpful. But I do miss the spontaneity of just uh, looking at you and sharing. I wanted to talk a little bit about forgiveness, a huge subject. And I know in my book, people have said, well, you know, why didn't you put lots and lots in there about forgiveness? And um, it's because it seems to me that everything is about surrender. And surrender, to me, is just another word for forgiveness. Loving what is is just another word for forgiveness. And both of those themes are really woven into the book. So, forgiveness. Forgiveness, what does that mean? It's such a highfalutin um, idea when you're in the middle of wanting to throttle somebody because they've hurt you. You really believe they've hurt you or you know, somebody's run over your cat or somebody's really uh, broken your heart or all those things that happen in our lives and that we believe are real. You know, there's a line in spiritual practice where you get it. You know, everything is for your good. And so, you know, people don't do things to you. People offer you opportunities to release, to let go, to surrender, to see that the real world isn't real. But before you get to that line, forgiveness is a big issue. Forgiveness is a big issue. You know, I was thinking about this topic, and I know that there are a number of people still in my life, two men in particular, two men. One was a friend, and the other was a husband, that I know, I know I'm not certain that they have uh, stopped disliking me or hating me or being angry at me, and, you know, a long time ago. And so... You know, that's none of my business. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. But what I realized was, if I think that, then inside of me is some guilt. Inside of me is something that says, you really did that awful thing, or you really didn't listen to him, or you really did disagree with him, and that pissed him off, whatever. Um, that I have pieces in me about those two people that say, I'm guilty. Which is before the line that says everything is an opportunity, everything is presented before you to teach you to grow, to let go. That's before that line. That says it really happened and I am guilty and I did something um, irrevocable. And there, there is the best part of focusing or learning about forgiveness, if you like. There it is, right there, right there. The, the, one of the pitfalls of being in spiritual life is that we learn all these things, all these things we're supposed to do, supposed to feel, and then once we've learned them, they become concepts in our head, and from then on, well, we'd be guilty if we were caught doing them. And if it were that easy to be so clear, there would be billions of people clear, because billions of people are practicing their spiritual uh, lessons and exercises. And they're not clear. So it's tough. It's tough. This world seems real. People hurt you. It seems real that they hurt you. You hurt others. It seems real that you hurt others. And so forgiveness is an opportunity to say, does it serve me to hold this in my heart? Does it serve me to hold guilt in my heart. Am I doing anything for those two people? No. In fact, I might actually be clogging up the energy between us that is ideally and optimally love. 
So that's one reason that you could look at for forgiving. One reason is that it stops your flow of love. Whether they did something or you did something to them, I mean, at what point, even in, even my brother said to me once, even when they put somebody, somebody away for murder, it, you know, it's 25 years. So if you have issues inside of you that go back to when you were a little kid, when you're a little kid, you know, you're mad at your parents, and, you know, that's 20 years down the road. Think about it. You know, are they still in jail as far as your heart goes? And I realize that I'm still in jail as far as my heart goes, that I've condemned myself. And so I'm willing to deal with that. I don't, I don't want to hold guilt in my heart. So well, just think about that work with that. Sometimes just thinking about whether you want to hold guilt inside of you is enough to shift that whole energy and make you willing to let it go or at least willing to step on the path that says, I'm going to forgive this issue. I hope that's helpful. Peace to you.